in an earlier video we have shown you how to create this um, um, trial uh, control chart for uh, mean of x so these are the subgroups and this is the mean of these uh, samples uh, so we plotted this and then shown how to create that control chart so this is the upper control limit this is the lower control limit the yellow line and this blue is the lines that uh, is the data the x bar so we could show how to do that now this is called trial control chart because it is based on the raw data so data has always some type of outlier for example this point number one and point number 17 is out of control now if there is there is a there is an assignable cause some kind of cause that is you know causing this point going beyond the control limit then we can delete that point to clean the data and then have a nice set of data so to create the revised control chart the first step is to um, delete that out of control points and then so because I have already calculated so many stuffs in this page, I'm going to copy all of them because I will basically need most of this stuff. So I'll not redo it. Let's move this graph aside. And then um, I'm going to, this formulas does not um, apply anymore. So what I'm going to do is I will just delete this and copy the formulas for the revised control charts so for revised control charts these are the formulas for the revised control charts now as you can see for the trial control we needed this for the revised control we needed these uh, coefficients uh, these constant factors now let's go ahead and delete that point one because that was the out of control point so delete that and also i'm going to delete the uh, out of control point number 17 that was also out of control so this was very low value compared to the rest of the graph so this basically this point and this point there they're deleted now so now i delete all the out of control points now what i'm going to do is i will double check this calculation so this one looks good the average looks good and then the range still okay range bar looks good the control limits does not look known we have to change these um, values so this one is now a2 is now a1 in the formula and then um, sigma zero i need to create one more factor sigma zero which is basically r zero r zero is the range bar so equals this i'm going to freeze that yeah, not necessary just for one but this is the only value for the r bar divided by the d2 I need the value for the constant d2 so let's select that cell and i'll upload d2 value there so d2 small d2 they're different small and capital d2 so let's find the value from the constant table so d2 is 2.059 the value for d2 is 2.059 so this is the sigma value now this upper control limit is basically this grand mean plus a times the so this part is going to change so that's going to be uh, now a i'm going to freeze that times the sigma value So that is the upper control limit. Lower control is basically the 
negative sign here I'm going to type it it's gonna be easier so equals the grand mean minus a coefficient a or fact constant factor a freeze that times the sigma value freeze that and then copy this all the way down so that is the lower control limit now calculate the range control which is now d2 times the range so instead of d4 it's going to be d2 that's the upper control and then this one is d2 d1 instead of d3 in the formula so this is the value now looks like it's not for some reason not plotted correctly so what i'm going to do i'm going to plot these this one grand mean and the controls so i get let's plot some kind of linear graphs like that now as you can see now this is showing only points those are within control so these are the mean of the subgroups sample and this is the subgroups number and the control chart title i would like to title this one as revised because i revised it i delete all the crazy data points those had some assignable causes you cannot delete the data out of control if there is no assignable causes by random cause if it goes out of control which is unlikely you cannot delete those data so in revised data you should have this data until you have some kind of assignable causes in this case this data set we are assuming that we can't assume i know that this data set that this two points on and 17 is out of control we'll explain that in later video why these are out of control so revised x bar r control chart so that's it about the revised chart now